But as long as you have the, the Lord in your heart, the church is with you. As long as two or more of us are gathered in his name, Christ will be in the midst. Yes. It's been a, a, a early morning. I've been out, been out back, so forgive me. I got a little, um, just, just, just a little uh, winded, but I'm just glad to just to be in the house of the Lord just one more time. Oh, yeah. One more time. And it is good. One more time. And it's good to see, it's good to see you that you're here. Yes. And this is the first Sunday that we had um, for Sunday school. What a blessing. What a blessing. Amen. Amen. So, what's we going to say? Go ahead, Maestro. Stand for the reading of the God's word. Good morning. Good morning, true love. Good morning, true. Good morning, true love. Please, please forgive me. I forgot a problem with my voice, but bear with me. Your reading this morning will be coming from John 4, beginning at verse 7. And it reads, There come up a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto a city to buy meat. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, How is that thou, being a Jew, ask me to drink, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jew have no dealings with the Samaritanites. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of God, and who is that saith to thee, 
give me to drink that would have have asked of him and he would have given thy living water. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou the living water? Are thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children in his castle? Jesus answered and said unto her, Whoever drank of this water shall thirst again. But whoever, whoever drinketh of the water that I shall give her shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water, springing unto everlasting life. I'm going to jump over to verse 28. The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city and said to the man, Come, see me, see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not, is not this the Christ? Then they went out to the city and came unto him. And I had read from John verse four, I miss John chapter four, beginning at verse um, four, and then at verse fifteen and twenty-eight through thirty. May God's word be a blessing to the doers and hearers of His word. Amen. Amen. Said I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service for one more time. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service for one more time. Said I'm glad to be in the service. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service for one more time. To be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service for one more time. Come on, we're gonna do it one more time. Say service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, one more time. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, I'm glad to be in the service. Oh, one more time. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. If you will humble yourself now before your almighty God. Yes, Lord. Open your heart, your mind, and your soul to communicate with him. Yes, Lord. To seek him. Yes. To call upon his holy name. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For another opportunity that you've given us to worship your holy name. Yes. To come to this sanctuary, to know you, to thank you for everything that you've done for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We thank you, Father, that you've gotten us through COVID. Yes, Lord. As we stepped on the breath of success, now we can turn to you and humble ourselves before you. Yes, Lord. And thank you thank from you, the bottom Lord. of our thank heart. You. Thank you. We thank you, Father, for blessing thank our household. You. Yes, Lord. For blessing our families. Yes, for blessing our friends, for blessing our neighbors. But we thank you most of all, Father, for your son, Christ Jesus, who came and died on the cross for the sins of this world. Yes, Lord. The pain that he suffered, as we stand before you to know that salvation is free because of him. We thank you, Lord God. We thank, thank you for everything you, that we've thank done. You, Lord God. You've told us yes. when Solomon prayed for you, 
You said, if my people who will call on my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face yes. and turn from sin that I will heal their land. So Father in heaven, we turn. Yes. We pray to you today. We humble ourselves before you now. Yes. We cast aside the pride and we recognize that only you, Lord God, can save us. Jesus testified that if we want eternal life, it is in you, Jesus Christ. We seek eternal life, Father, and that eternal life is in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father, for all that you've done. Thank you Thank for your Son, you. Christ Thank Jesus, who you. died on the cross for the sins of this world. Yes, Lord. Bless us now as we prepare to continue Please. to worship and praise you Please. on this wonderful day of Sabbath yes. in this fantastic sanctuary that you've yes. built for us to worship you. Lord, we thank you. Thank we you. Praise, you. praise you. We lift you up. We love you. Love you, Lord. We thank you in everything that we have and everything that we are. We know that you're God. An almighty God that have done everything we see you created. We thank you, Father. Bless us now thank you. as we praise your holy name. Yes, Lord. In the holy name of Christ Jesus, I pray this prayer. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning, true love. Y'all can do better than that. Good morning, true love. Morning. On behalf of our pastor, I want to welcome all of you guys to true love. I also want to acknowledge and welcome our guests. We are a friendly and eternal church that has a lot of love. And what I'm going to ask you guys to do is get up and love out loud. So you may be a little handshake, a little hug. Just wave to somebody. Say good morning. Good morning. Y'all can get up out y'all seats. It's okay. Y'all can hug somebody. Y'all can wave y'all hands. Well, we just want to thank you guys for coming to True Love today. Thank you. Hallelujah. If we could have all the youth to come to the choir stand. Stand on your feet as we declare the greatness of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, is there anybody that came to lift him up this morning? Hallelujah. Hey, say, oh, oh. How great, how great. 
Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Come on, lift your hands. Come on with the hands lifted high. Hallelujah. We just came in here to worship the Lord today. Hallelujah. Come on, go to that place of worship and just begin to tell him how much you love him. Begin to tell him how much you appreciate him. How much you adore him. Just his very name and his presence in your life. Hallelujah, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We give you all worship, Lord God. We give you all praise, oh God. With everything that's in me, God, I open up my mouth. And I give you glory. Oh. We have come into this house together in his name to worship him. Who came to worship him today? We have come into this house Together in his name to worship him. Oh, we have come to his house. Together in his name to worship, to worship Christ our Lord. So forget about forget about yourself. Concentrate on him. Concentrate on him and worship him. Oh, oh, oh. Concentrate on him. Concentrate on him. And worship him. 
Say worship him. Worship him. Christ. Christ. Christ our Lord. Worship him. Worship him. Worship him. Christ our Lord. It is prayer time. How many of you know that prayer changes things? I don't know about you, but is it your testimony that it's not over for me? It's not over for me. God is challenging someone on tonight, on today, on this morning to come to his altar for a rededication of your faith. You may have been going through the motions and God says, I want to take you back to where you first received me. If it's you, meet me right here on the altar where you can lay it down. The Bible says that in 1 Samuel chapter 16 that David was anointed by Samuel with oil and he received the power of the Holy Spirit. Some of you are going through something and you've been going through things this week. And it's only the power of the Holy Spirit that can bring you out. Will you come to the altar? It's not by mistake that you're here this morning. Lord, I need a touch from you. I need a touch from you, Lord. Lord, I don't want to continue to remain in bondage. But Lord, I need you to bring me out. The Bible says that when Jesus was going into the wilderness, Matthew 4, that he went with the Holy Spirit. And he was able to come out of the wilderness. Somebody's going to get their breakthrough this morning. But what the Lord needs you to do is surrender. Surrender it at the altar and don't pick it back up. Take me back. Take me back. Yes, yes. Take me back, dear Lord. To the place where I finally believed you. Take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, where I first believed. Oh, oh, oh. say, take, take me back. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first received you. Take me back. Oh, take me back, dear Lord, where I first God is letting me, telling me this morning that it's okay. Just know that it's okay. You don't have to keep holding on to the guilt, but it's okay. He forgives you. In Jesus' name, every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. 
Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we have come into your presence, God. Hurting with pain, suffering, trials and tribulations, God. And Lord, we have come into your house this morning. Lord, to receive a touch from you. And what that touch looks like is releasement in Jesus' name. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, you begin to release. Release what has been holding your children down. By the power of the Holy Spirit, Father, release it. In the name of Jesus, Father, we need a new mind. Renew our mind on today. Lord, we want to thank your thoughts in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus, Father, the Lord, that you touch the heart, my God. In the name of Jesus, the stony heart that has been dealing with hatred in the name of Jesus, God. Jealousy in the name of Jesus, God. And I pray, Lord, that you give a heart of flesh on today. Lord, I want to start walking in love. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, I come against every single attack that the devil has tried to come against your children. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bind every single attack of disease over the body. Arthritis, you are bound. Bronchitis, you are bound. Start praying. Fibroids, you are bound. Excessive knee pain, you are bound. Procrastination, you are bound. In the name of Jesus, you're bound. Every single tongue that has risen against us, we condemn it. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for freedom right now. Freedom right now, release it. I feel you releasing it right now, God. I feel the chains falling right now, God. It's being released. It's being released. It's being released. Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, cleanse it. Lord, we come into your presence just like David. Search me, O oh Lord. Search within me. Lord, create in me a new heart and wash me white as snow. And Lord, when you begin to do that, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for releasement, my God. Holy Spirit, we praying for the Holy Holy Spirit, enter into the vessel. Enter into the vessel, Holy Spirit, that every single giant that we come against, in the name of Jesus, is fallen. Every single giant is fallen in the name of Jesus. No weapon that is formed against you, my God, shall be able to prosper. No weapon, no weapon that is formed against you shall be able to prosper. In the name of Jesus. Get thee behind us, Satan. In the name of Jesus. Get thee behind us, you're under our feet. We are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, breakthrough, my God. We're breaking through what has held us back in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, we're breaking it through. In the name of Jesus, walls are falling. Walls are falling that has been holding you back. Release the blessing right now to your children, God. Release it right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for healing right now. We thank you for the healing right now. We thank you for the releasement right now. Because of our step of faith, Lord, thank you for the healing. Thank you for the healing right now, God. Thank you for the healing right now, God. Lord, thank you. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit of God, move. Begin to do a shift. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God. Lord, I pray for each and every person here. I pray for them right now, God. Lord, they have come into your house with expectations. Lord, meet the expectations. Look beyond the fault. Meet the need in the name of Jesus, God. Lord, we know you can and we know you will. You have not failed us yet. And we don't believe you'll do it right now, God. 
Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God. Lord, and I pray, Lord, for that believer, God, who has come into your presence, rededication of the faith, God. That believer that has been just going through the motions, becoming comfortable, God, in your presence. I pray right now, Lord, allow that heart to break for what breaks for yours, Father, in the name of Jesus, God. I pray right now, Lord, for that vessel, Father, that you restore them back to the first love where they first received you, God. Lord, we don't forget. We don't forget where we used to be. We don't forget, Lord, how you brought us out until we, where you have us at right now, God. And Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you, God, that you are still holding on to us, God. We thank you, God, that you have never let go, God. We thank you, God, that in spite of what I have done, God, you still love. We thank you for your mercy and your grace that we did not deserve it my God yes. that we didn't deserve it yes. well Lord we thank you God yes. will you bless right now God yes. mm. Lord will you begin to heal right now God yes. Lord will you start delivering right now God in the name of Jesus God Lord we trust and we believe it Father we trust and we believe it Father it is by faith my God that we are made whole yes. glory Lord, hold them in the palm of your hands. It is in your bosom, Father, where peace and freedom reside. Hold us, God. Hold us, God. Thank you, God, for bringing us out. Lord, we were in the fight of our life. My God. Sleepless nights this week. Didn't know how we were going to make it today. But Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you have brought us here, my God, yes. into your presence. Yes. I pray in the name of Jesus, God, Amen. that you begin to, Lord, allow those eyes to be spiritual eyes, and we begin to walk by faith and not by sight. Yes. It is only our faith, God. That is going to allow us to elevate, my God, above every single situation. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, God, that you're parting red seas in our life, my God. Lord, I thank you, God, Lord, that you're releasing the bars in our life, God. Lord, I thank you right now, Lord, that you're allowing us to come out of the mouth of a fish. We've seen you do it, God. Do it right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, glory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on, let's sing it one more time. Oh, say take me back. Take me back. Oh, take me back.
clap those hands. Hallelujah. Good morning, True Love. Today I'll be reading the guest cards, and when I call your name, can you please stand? First, I have Alondra Estemita. She's a guest of Maryland. Charles Cole. He's a guest of Terry. Constance Amy. Constance, Amy, okay. Joseph Johnson, he's also a guest of Terry. Angel Smith, okay. She's also a guest of Terry. <laughs> Bernice Brown. And she comes from New Life Baptist Church. Justice, Justin Stevens, a guest of Maryland. Justice Farmer, a guest of Maryland. And then I can't promise you that I'm going to say your last name, but I'm definitely going to say your first name. Rochelle, a guest of Sister Mary. Oh. Okay, and then Amir, a guest, a guest of Jada and Nevaeh. All right, y'all have a good service. Amen. To those of you who are our first time guests, we praise God for your presence today. As I always say, with so many other churches here in the Las Vegas Valley uh, to choose from, we're just so grateful to God that you graced our sanctuary today. We're so glad to see your face in place today, uh, and especially on today, my sisters and brothers. This is our second post-pandemic Back to Church Sunday. Amen. Amen. Our second, second service, service, amen. And on behalf of True Love Missionary Baptist Church, I want to welcome you to True Love. We're the church that's determined to love out loud. Upreach, inreach, and outreach. You came today as friends, and we pray that at some point in time, God might move upon your heart that though you came as friends, you will leave today as family. Amen. Amen. And on this day, on Back to Church Sunday, it's not only uh, us inviting our friends and our family and our neighbors and co-workers and the like to come to church, but it's also a Sunday where we celebrate those who have returned to true love. Amen. Amen. Maybe you've been out because of sickness. Maybe you've been out because you just needed a time out for a moment. For whatever reason, welcome back, family. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Work with me, y'all. Work with me. Hallelujah. Ooh, a little more vase. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So once again, we do thank God for our first time guests who are here today. And thank you all for uh, fixing that. Amen. Save some voice for me today. Amen. 
Hallelujah. We are going to have a great time today, not just in worship. We've already been having a great time. We praise God for our music ministry, for our deacons. Amen. We praise God for MIT Grant leading us in prayer. We've already been having a great time today, and it's just going to keep going on and on and on. We have our fellowship, amen, on the property, on the campus of True Love Missionary Baptist Church today, immediately following our worship service service today. Amen. We want to move uh, forward, my sister brothers, into our tithes and offerings, and I want to encourage you today, encourage you to look at tithes and offerings a lot different. Amen. Sometimes we get pressed, sometimes we get confused uh, because we think that we are giving to the church. No, you're giving through the church. Amen. It's through the church that God has allowed you to be a part of what he's doing in this season, to be a blessing to those who stand in need, to be a blessing, amen, to the world, to be a support to the ministry of True Love Missionary Baptist Church. So, amen. Don't get it twisted. Amen. You're not giving to the church. You're giving through the church. Are y'all in the building with me today? Oh, holla back if you hear me. Amen. So at this time, our ushers are coming through the aisles. At this time, they're coming with envelopes for those of you that desire to give by way of envelope today. Place those envelopes in our offering boxes today. We also want you to know that you can give electronically. Go to our website at www.truelovembclv.com. Click on the Give tab. Follow all of the prompts. You can also give by going to our Ministry One app, and on that Ministry One app, just you will find the, the tab for giving. Click on that, but check this out. You not only have giving there, but there's announcements there. There are sermons that are there. Amen. True love has an app. Hello, somebody. Amen. So use it, use it, use it. Amen. And the fourth way of giving is if you have an offering, you may place it in an envelope. Amen. And even those of you that are in our virtual sanctuary, place your offering envelope and mail it to True Love Missionary Baptist Church, 1941 North 8th Street, Las Vegas, Nevada, 8906. Amen. Praise the Lord. Has everyone had an opportunity to be served? They're still passing through the aisles. Still passing through the aisles with envelopes. We still see hands that are raised. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Is there anyone else that needs to be served at this time? Amen. We still see ushers in the aisles. Praise the Lord. Amen. We got a hand in the back there. Amen. Praise God. For your obedience and your willingness, amen, to give to the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. All right. Praise God. Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Father, in the blessed name of Jesus, once again, God, we thank you for this part of worship ministry, O oh God, through giving, Lord God, is still, and it's a very important part of our worship celebration. But Lord God, we know that when those magi came to visit the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says that they opened unto him their treasures of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And God, we praise you, Lord God. 